Good day, Grade Tolls. Welcome to your first lesson in Week 5. In this lesson, we're carrying on with functions, but we're going to talk about the inverse of a straight line. So, inverse functions. A function g of x is, a fun is an inverse of the function f of x if the domain of g of x is the range of f, and a, f of x and the range of g of x is the domain of f of x. In other words, x and y values are interchangeable. They can swap. Okay, the inverse of f of x is usually represented by f to the negative 1 of x. And don't get confused, that is not, not meaning 1 over f of x, it means the inverse of it. So let's do an example. Right, it says, draw the following graph stating its domain and range. So it's got y is equal to 3x plus 2. So we know it goes through plus 2. And if you want to know where it crosses the y-axis, we're going to let x equal, I mean, the x-axis, we're going to let y equal naught. So we're going to say, okay, fine, 0 is equal to 3x plus 2. Therefore, we've got minus 2 over 3 equals x. So x is minus 2 over 3, which is minus, so it's about up there. And then we just got to draw the straight line. There we go. And what are the domain and range? We know that the domain of this, I'm going to write it up here. The domain, because it's a straight line, is just going to be x as an element of real values. And the range is also, it's carrying on from minus infinity to positive infinity. So that is an element of real values. Awesome. Now it says, now I found f negative 1 of x, in other words, inverse, and draw it and state the domain and range. Okay, so first I'm going to change color. And the way you find the inverse, okay, remember we said that they swap, the x and y swap, and that's exactly what we do. We swap our x and y's and then solve for y. So to find the inverse, what do we do? We say let x equal 3y plus 2. And then what we do is we now solve for y. So the first step is we swap x and y, and now we're just going to solve for y. So we go, okay, fine. We've got x minus 2 is equal to 3y. Therefore, I'm just going to swap this around. 3y is equal to x minus 2. Therefore, y is equal to 1 over 3x minus 2 over 3. And that now is the equation of our inverse function. So let's now draw this. So x is minus 2 over 3 is going to be I mean, y is minus 2 over 3, is minus 2 over 3 is about over there. And now if we want to find out where this cuts the x-axis, we're going to have to let y equal naught. So we go 0 is equal to a third x minus 2 over 3. Then we go 2 over 3 is equal to a third x. We times both sides by 3, and we get x equals 2. So that equals 2. So what do you notice? You notice that what actually essentially happened, I just need to draw this, is the x values and the y values are swapped even when it comes to intercepts. Yeah, the original equation f of x, the y-intercept was 2. Now the x-intercept is 2. Yeah, the x-intercept was minus 2 over 3. Now the y-intercept is minus 2 over 3. The domain, however, hasn't changed because it's still a straight line. So the domain is going to be x is an element of real values, and our range is an element of real values. But notice that the line of symmetry is y equals x. If I had to draw a straight line going through here with y equals x, that would be our line of symmetry. So our line of symmetry is y equals x, which makes sense, because what did we do? We just swapped the x's and y's, and then solve for y. So that's our inverse of a straight line example. Now let's look at another example. It says, consider the function f of x equals 3x minus 1. They say, write down the domain and range of f. Okay, so since it's a straight line graph, we don't even have to draw it. We can just go, domain is an element of real values and the range is an element of real values. In fact, what we actually need to write is domain, colon, x is an element of real values, and for the range, y is an element of real values. Okay, nice and easy, right? Let's look at the next one. Now it says, show that f is a one-to-one -one relation. 
Okay, so the easy way to do that is just to substitute in some numbers. So if we let x equal 1, then do you agree that y is going to be 3 times by 1 minus 1, which is 2, or x equals negative 1, you've got 3 times by minus 1, which is minus 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. So we can see that it's definitely a 1 to 1 relation. Now it says determine the inverse function of f negative 1. So here I'm going to change color again, just so that we don't get confused. So now we want the inverse. Now what did we say? This, do you agree that f of x, that's the same as saying y. So at the moment we've got y is equal to 3x minus 1. So what do we do? We swap the x and y's. So we've got x is equal to 3 to the y minus 1. Swap, remember the first thing, swap x and y. And now we solve for y. We're going to solve for y. So we're going to say, okay, fine, we have got x plus 1 is equal to 3y. Therefore, let's just rearrange this, 3y is equal to x plus 1. Therefore, y is equal to x over 3, which is a third x, plus a third. Excellent. Now it says sketch the graphs of f, f negative 1, and the line of symmetry. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that so I can see what I'm doing. So this one here is a third and x over 3, so let's do the blue one first. So it goes through the y-axis at a third, which is pretty small. To find it where it cuts the x-axis, let's let y equal naught. You're going to naught is equal to x over 3 plus a third. I take it across, I get minus a third is equal to x over 3 and then if I then multiply both sides by 3 I get x is equal to negative 1. So x is going to be minus 1 so that there is my inverse function there which is y is equal to x over 3 plus a third. Now let's change, change back to my red and let's do the original one 3x minus 1 so we know that this goes through minus 1 now let's find out where it cuts the x-axis by letting y equal naught so let's do that so we're going to go okay naught equals 3x minus 1 therefore 1 is equal to 3x therefore if we divide both sides by 3 we get x equals a third so x equals a third, so that's where that goes, and you will see that they cross, oh, I draw so badly, okay, they cross, there we go. And the line of symmetry, remember, is what? It is y equals x, so basically it is that graph there, that is your line, y equals x, and that is that, that is the inverse of straight line graphs. So grade 12s, what I need you to do is go practice, remember the way you get an inverse is you swap the x and y and then you solve for y. That's it, that's how easy it is. Doesn't matter if you're doing straight lines or parabolas or exponential or log graphs or whatever, you just swap the x and y and solve for y. Right, that's it for today for this lesson. Have a great day.